This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a special program on life and times of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Hind! A salute to the pride of free India. It is not merely a salute but a reverberation of the pride of the nation. This unique salutation struck a chord with Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and Jai Hind became the proverbial victory sound of India's freedom. Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Whenever we talk about Subhash Chandra Bose, his famous slogan, You give me blood, I'll give you independence, comes to mind. The slogan, which was a part of one of his speeches, became a source of inspiration for those who fought for the freedom of India. Here are the words of Netaji, recreated for our listeners. We have fought for the freedom of India, we have to keep the freedom of India until we have the freedom of India. We have to forget the freedom of India, 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 we have to forget the तो हमारी मर्जी के खिलाफ साम्राज्यवाद को मजबूत कर हमारी गुलामी की जंजीरों को और मजबूत करने के लिए बनाया गया है इसे आप हरगिज स्वीकार न करें आप संगठित शक्ति से आत्म बलिदान करने के लिए जल्द से जल्द तैयार हो जाइए न मालूम कब बिगुल बज उठे Born on 23rd January 1897 in Katak, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was a revolutionary. Patriotism was his hallmark and he made it a point to ensure the freedom of India. Since his childhood days, he was disturbed by the slavery of India under the Britishers. In fact, it acted as a catalyst for him to dedicate himself for the liberation of India from British rule. Addressing Azad Hind Forge, Netaji expressed his angst for the quest of independence. I am overjoyed to see that you have already realized that the responsibility of winning freedom does not rest merely on the shoulders of our countrymen at home. It is but natural that they should bear the brunt of the burden and they have been doing so already. Subhash Chandra Bose had all the qualities of a leader which were visible from his college days. After completing primary education at the Protestant school in Katak, he joined Ravenshaw Collegiate School in 1909. According to Netaji's biographer, Beni Madhav Das, the principal of Ravenshaw School left a deep impact on the mind of young Subhash. The impact was so powerful that by the age of 15, he had gone through the entire literary works of Swami Vivekananda. In 1916, Netaji took admission at the Presidency College, Kolkata. During a fight between teachers and students at the college on some issues, Netaji took over the leadership of students. It led to his expulsion from the college. But he was unruffled. His next destination was Cambridge. In the open environment of Britain, his quest for independence gathered momentum. Netaji then qualified for civil services but refused to serve under the British government. Renowned historian Kapil Kapoor says, this is a reflection of how fiercely he was thinking about a free India. Azad in Sarkar was the only government in the world of a country and I say it of a country because it functioned from India, you know, had everything, which never surrendered to the Allied force. While residing in Britain, Netaji was influenced by the views of Gandhiji. He returned to India in 1921 and in the same year met Mahatma Gandhi in Mumbai. Gandhiji advised him to return to Kolkata and work with Desh Bandhu Chitaranjan Das. After this, Netaji plunged into the freedom struggle. His leadership and strategic thinking made him a favorite of the youth engaged in the freedom movement. Subhash Chandra Bose was arrested and jailed 11 times by the British government. However, it only added to his popularity among the masses. In 1930, while in jail, he contested the election for the mayor of Kolkata only to emerge victorious with a huge margin. <laughs> 
Netaji started the Independent League for the youth with Jawaharlal Nehru. In 1927, the Independent League organized a nationwide protest against the visit of Simon Commission to India. Subhash Chandra Bose led the protest march against the Simon Commission in Kolkata. Frequent imprisonment took a toll on the health of Netaji during this period. In 1931, the death sentence of Bhagat Singh hurt Netaji. He began thinking along the lines of how to fight the Britishers and ensure the freedom of India. Subhash Chandra Bose thought that it will be wise to take the help of the enemies of the Britishers, Hitler and Mussolini in the freedom movement. At the same time, he gave up on the non-violent movement of Gandhiji. Subhash Chandra Bose then visited Europe from 1933 to 1936. He met Mussolini in Italy and De Valera in Ireland and sought their support for India's freedom struggle. Backed by his leadership qualities and strategic thinking in no time, Subhash Chandra Bose became one of the most powerful Congress leaders. In the beginning, he worked with Gandhi ji. However, his stature became so big that in the 1938 Haripura Congress session Netaji defeated Gandhi ji's candidate Pattavi Sitaramaiya to become the Congress president. After this, the distance between Netaji and Gandhi ji increased both in terms of thinking as well as ideology. It culminated with Netaji's resignation from the Congress. Historian Makhan Lal talks about the nationalistic ideals of Netaji. In the official history, Netaji Subhas may have been forgotten. Official historians may have forgotten totally, but he remained in the memory popular public popular mm. narrative and that is what the real history is because it goes into from generation to generation to generation Netaji's personality is reflected in new dimensions after his separation from the Congress in 1939 he founded the forward block and thereafter a revolutionary change emerged in the thinking of Subhash Chandra Bose It will be prudent to recall that he was the leader of the Garam Dal in the Congress. However, after separating from the Congress, he lost faith in the peaceful struggle for freedom. His belief in armed struggle increased tremendously as well as his thinking became too deep to understand the soul of India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi remembered Netaji's thinking on the 75th anniversary of Azad Hind Sarkar. Saathiyo apne lakshya prati jis vyakti ka itna saap vision tha लक्ष्य को हासिल करने के लिए जो अपना सब कुछ दांव पर लगाने के लिए निकल गया हो जो सिर्फ और सिर्फ देश के लिए समर्पित हो ऐसे व्यक्ति को याद करने भर से ही पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी प्रेरित हो जाती है इन द ईयर 1939 थर्टी नाइन एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वॉर टू द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ग्रू सस्पिशियस of revolutionary subhash chandra bose he was detained subhash took the detention as an opportunity he left home in disguise and reached germany via afghanistan and soviet union in germany he started gathering support for the freedom struggle and met hitler on 29th may 1942 on not receiving enough assurance of support from hitler he left for east asia in a submarine and reached indonesia there he met revolutionary leader ras bihari bose and on his insistence he took command of azad hind fauj on this occasion he enumerated important points on the freedom of india every indian no matter where he may be living at the present time has a duty toward his country and he must contribute his due share toward the final victory <laughs> From there Netaji started the struggle for freedom of India. Those days Japan was fighting the British. Netaji wanted the cooperation of Japan for the country's freedom. Impressed by the personality of Netaji, the Prime Minister of Japan assured his support. Netaji addressed the Japanese parliament during this period. His speech left the Japanese people spellbound and he became a darling of Japan. On reaching Singapore on 21st October 1943, Netaji announced the establishment of the Provisional Government of Free India. In 2018 Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Azad Hind Sarkar akhand Bharat ki sarkar thi abhibhajit Bharat ki sarkar thi main deshwasiyon ko Azad Hind Sarkar ke 75 varsh hone par bahut bahut badhai deta hu 
Netaji began the armed struggle for Indian independence with the help of Japan. He gave the call Dilli Chalo. Under his leadership and with the help of the Japanese army Azad Hind Fauj succeeded in liberating Andaman and Nicobar Islands by the end of 1943. During the struggle he reached Burma in 1944. and started fighting against the britishers on the indian borders in the meantime the azad hind fauj attacked impal and kohima it is a well known fact that netaji had first addressed gandhi ji as rashtrapita in a radio broadcast on 6 july 1944 Netaji was an advocate of making East Asia a powerful group. I believe that the Asiatic nations and particularly the Indian people who regard themselves as perfect in having such a friend and guide in time of crisis. And may I therefore offer my congratulations to you on having such a leader in a world crisis. to lead you on to victory and at the same time to carry on the work of reconstruction as the english forces started to dominate the ina had to retreat meanwhile japan was defeated after america dropped atomic bombs on nagasaki and hiroshima but netaji decided to seek the cooperation from russia to achieve his goal in this connection he was traveling to russia from manchuria on 18th august 1945 his plane crashed during this journey according to japanese radio the hero of indian independence movement succumbed in the accident there are innumerable stories on netaji which are yet to be released With the efforts of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, more than a thousand documents related to Netaji have now been made public. They can be seen at the National Archives. According to a document, Netaji's last words were, "Tell people that I fought for the independence of my country till the last breath. This fight needs to continue, and I am confident that India will soon be free. No one." can keep india a slave now whenever india's independence will be discussed netaji's powerful words will keep reverberating and his struggle will be remembered we have already realized that the responsibility of winning freedom does not rest merely on the shoulders of our countrymen at home jai hind Jai Hind You are listening to a special program on life and times of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio You can listen to it on our mobile app News on AIR This program is also available on our YouTube channel News on AIR Official You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com